If you've been playing Fortnite for some time now, you'll know that your editing speed can be what determines your level of play. Being quick and consistent with your edits will make fighting a breeze and is a skill that all players should strive to master. Today, we're going to be showing you guys everything you need to know in order to instantly increase your editing speed. Let's get right into it. Before we hop into the specifics, we need to talk a little about confirm edit on release and whether you should be using it or not. There are countless amounts of top tier players on and off the setting, but if speed is your priority, then you should definitely turn it on. Having confirm edit on release enabled is simply removing one bind from each editing sequence, therefore increasing your speed. Instead of having to hit your edit bind, select the tiles and hit confirm bind, this setting will allow you to simply hit your edit bind, select the tiles and let go. Not having to deal with a confirm bind will make each edit quicker and will avoid unnecessary misclicks. Yes, you may be able to edit a little faster by using double edit binds like Raider 464, but this is extremely hard to get down and the small increase in speed you might notice won't be worth the extra bind you're giving up. Not to mention that you'll definitely be less consistent considering you'll have to nail that three step sequence for each and every edit. All right, we want to go over the differences between controller and keyboard and mouse. Obviously, we're not telling you to switch your input for some faster editing, but it's important to recognize the strengths and weaknesses of each. Now, many of you probably believe that keyboard and mouse is always more optimal mechanically. While this may be partially true, you can actually edit just as fast or even quicker with a controller than you can on keyboard and mouse if you have a solid edit bind. From what we've seen, a majority of fast controller editors all have one thing in common. They use a paddle as their edit bind. Using a paddle to edit is beneficial for a few reasons. For starters, you'll be using either your ring or middle finger. This means that your thumbs will be able to rest on your joysticks at all times, giving you significantly cleaner and more consistent movement. Not only will your movement flow better, but editing with a paddle also makes it extremely easy to edit rapidly. If you place your edit bind on one of the right side paddles, all you'll need to do is squeeze your hand to make an edit. Now, this may sound odd, but go ahead and try it out for yourself. All you're doing is hitting two buttons with two fingers, the paddle with your middle finger and the right trigger with your pointer finger. If you're using confirm edit on release, then hitting these almost simultaneously with a small delay between each will select and confirm one single edit. You can see the speed potential for yourself by practicing your single tile edit spams. Once you find the perfect rhythm, turning builds invisible and even floating other players will be a piece of cake. Now that we've got the controller stuff out of the way, let's talk a bit about keyboard and mouse. As I said before, Four, using a keyboard and mouse is generally easier when it comes to editing. The control you have over your crosshair when using a mouse in comparison to a joystick is night and day. I mean, you're literally using your hand, wrist, and arm to aim instead of your thumb. This will make micro adjustments and edit play crosshair placement much easier to control. Although keyboard and mouse is generally easier, there's not really any cheeky binds you can use to edit quicker. Of course, you could use your right mouse click as your edit bind for something similar to paddles, but this isn't optimal at all since you need to remap your fire, place build, and select building edit to do something else. This will completely throw off your gameplay, so only use your right click to edit when you're flexing your edit speed on your friends. We recommend using a bind near your movement keys to edit. E, Q, and F are all great options. It really just comes down to what feels most comfortable for you. One thing that people tend to forget about when comparing keyboard and controller is scroll wheel reset. All keyboard and mouse players need to do to reset their builds is scroll down on their scroll wheel. This difference is what makes keyboard and mouse more attractive as you're literally skipping two whole steps whenever you reset. Although controller players can pull off the same thing by using a third-party macro software, this is technically cheating. Although you probably won't get banned, it's just not worth the risk. If top tier players offering personalized coaching based on your needs sounds up your alley, then head over to ProGuides.com where we've got an army of pro coaches ready and waiting to teach you everything you need to know about Fortnite so you can improve fast. Okay, so now that you know the differences between each input, we can go ahead and start showing you guys what actually increased your editing speed and consistency. Once you reach a certain point of skill in Fortnite, a majority of your building placements and edits will be completely muscle memory. You are not actively thinking about each edit bind you're hitting, you are more so on autopilot, almost unconsciously reacting to your surroundings and playing accordingly. So as long as you have your timing down, making edit plays will be a piece of cake. To build this muscle memory foundation, we're gonna recommend something that sounds a bit odd. What we want you to do is practice and creative with your headset off. Playing the game with no audio is gonna allow you to hear each button you hit. You'll notice patterns between different edits and sometimes even an audible rhythm. First, 
Start off with some basics like a rapid paced single tile edit. Once you're able to get in a consistent flow, you'll begin to hear some rhythm. This will make it much easier to stay consistent and will even help you out in the future when you do have game audio. Repeat and follow this process for nearly every editing mechanic. Double, triple, and even quad edits will become significantly easier once you find the perfect rhythm. This training strategy doesn't just apply to editing either. You can do the same thing with any move you've been struggling to get down. Mongrel classics, full boxes, and even simple things like wall replaces will all become significantly easier when you apply this training strategy. One drill that will help you out a ton in this process is the double edit circle. What you're gonna do is go on an elevated layer and place four sets of cones and floors, all connected to the same corner. Stand near the center of these builds and double edit through each set. Immediately go back to reset each build and repeat the process. Once you get the timing down, this should almost look like one fluent motion. So get to practicing. All right, Fortnite fam, it's time for the question of the day. What bind do you currently use to edit? Let us know down in the comments below. One of the best ways to improve your editing speed and consistency is through free building. While you may believe that grinding out edit courses would be a better alternative, you couldn't be any more wrong. While edit courses can be great for newer players or people trying out different binds, it should not be a main method of practice for above average players. See, when you're practicing in an edit course, you're not required to do any building since everything is already placed. This will seriously hurt you when you need to edit quickly through your builds in a real game. When you're practicing editing without worrying about building, you're your rhythm will be slightly different, inevitably causing you to mess up down the road. When it comes to free building, you can actually develop a feel for the proper rhythm and then apply it when fighting. Not only this, but incorporating as many edits as possible in your free builds will get your fingers prepared for the more basic moves you'll be performing in an actual game. Well, that wraps things up for today, Fortnite fam. Did you enjoy the video? Be sure to leave a like and ring that bell to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest tips and tricks we have to offer. Also, feel free to leave a comment and let us know if there's anything you would be interested in learning more about. Remember guys, if you want to increase your editing speed, it's up to you to put in the work. Sometimes it's as simple as a mental adjustment or even a singular bind change. Once again, my name is Galvanize and I'll see you in our next video here at Pro Guides.